Spartan Sophia. Spartan Sophia. Hmm? My name is Agent Mia Redding of the Office of Naval Intelligence. I've been assigned to debrief you after prolonged use of cryo. Please state your name for the record. Sierra, 102, Office of Naval Intelligence. Excellent. I'm going to be asking you a series of questions. Cryo sickness can cause memory loss. May we proceed? Of course. In 2550, you were assigned to the planet Void under the command of one agent, Alyssa Hodge. Is that correct? I don't understand. I've been in cryo for 28 years. I've never been on any assigned missions anywhere. Describe the office. Excuse me? Agent Hodge's office on Void. Describe it to me. It was on the top floor of the Saints building, in New Eken. Corner office, window with a view that stretched out for miles. How do I know that? How do I know that? We'll talk later, Sophia. Well, that didn't work. Nope. At least we know she has the memories. So did the last four versions of her we pulled out after that shit show on Monarch. That's Ness's mess, not mine. Yeah, and we're the only ones left. So we get the blowback. We'll figure it out. Can we? If we don't, we're cut loose, so we'll do the job. Get her out of that thing and bring her to the usual place. Got it. What about you? We may not have a lot of cards, but I'm going to keep dealing. These are your quarters for the time being. Right now, just please try to relax. The moment I hear something, I'll let you know. Thank you. Jacob Hart. Shit. Directive Berenthal. What can I do for you? A little birdie told me you're still working on your little science experiment. Yes, subject S-30 shows promise. <sighs> we had to try. Don't you get it by now? The war is over. We don't need a clone of a dead woman. Run along, Hart. And when your little project fails, you and Mia will have to come talk to me. Why was he on Monarch? Fields was born there. He wanted to see us home one last time. Can't fault him for that. And all he saw was a woman he assigned to die. Must have been a rude awakening. I don't think he's your man, Mia. I'm running out of turn, Steven. He could be a trigger for all we know, and I can't miss that opportunity. And hey, if it goes bad, I have nothing else to lose. <laughs> You do take after your father. But if there is nothing else, I think you should go. They've delayed my hearing long enough. All right. Off the record, I hope you see past this. Mia, they're gonna cut you off. And when they do, promise me you'll end it the right way. Ness, I can't. Please. 
I'll do my best. Do you know who I am, Sophia? Special Agent Jeremy Fields, former head agent of the planet Aurora. Quick on your feet. It's what I liked about you. You did what was necessary. Liked? That was a long time ago, Sophia. Question is, how are you standing here? I... I watched your helmet cam footage as you were stabbed, and your body fell into a river. Riddle me that. I don't remember that. That's not according to what Mia's been saying about you. You seem to have an eye for detail. Even in a place you apparently haven't been. <laughs> Do you even still remember? What I said to you when we first met. You are to hold it as, as long, long as you, as you live. live. Yeah, that's right. Yet, here you stand. Care to explain that? I don't know. You were stabbed and bled out in a river. How are you here? I don't know! Then what do you know? I... I died. I died over and over again. I didn't live them. They just... feel so real. Can... can you help me? I don't... I... Thank you, Sophia. We'll escort you back to your room shortly. Jeremy, I- Save it. I'm done. Whatever the hell you made me a part of, write me off. I don't get it! How the hell is this even possible? She died over and over again, and then suddenly, at the drop of a dime, she remembers all the times we sent her to die? It's one hell of a conundrum. And with Burnthal on us, it's not looking too good. It's my fault. I thought Fields would work. It's alright. We were out of options anyways. I wasted time, Jake. I've put your career in jeopardy by bringing you in, and now- Hey, you pulled me from the bullpen when everyone else put me down. I wouldn't have a career without you. And I've killed you. Oni doesn't like loose ends, definitely nothing physical. Wait, maybe it's not all physical. The hell are you talking about? Philosophy. Seriously? We're conducting our theories based solely off the brain and the body. Yeah, makes sense in practice, but we're forgetting about the other part in a philosophical sense. The mind. Jake, we got one last crack at this. Are you sure? Yes. Then I guess we know our next stop. Mia Redding in the flesh. What can I do for you? Greg, this is my assistant, Jacob Hart. Jake, this is Gregory Ross, former philosophy professor at Horton University on Reach. 
charmed. You still haven't answered my question. Human consciousness. We think we have an example that shows something regarding it. That's a little vague, my dear. We're Oni, Professor. Vague is our speciality. We need your help, Greg. I need your help. <sighs> your father was a good friend. It would be damning of me to say no to his kin. What do you need? Paperwork is in the car. Non-disclosure agreements, as well as... Son, I've played this game a lot longer than you. Let's go. Do you know what cognition is, Sophia? Loosely. It's like your information warehouse. It holds simple beliefs, desires, and maybe even some memories. What interests me, though, is consciousness. You see, it holds your subjective experience, what it feels like to be you. And do you think this is relevant to me? I think this is everything for this case. The missing piece of the puzzle. I didn't believe Mia when she told me, but I... I think there's a reasonable cause for examination. I need to know if this can be possible. If you don't mind, I'd like you to answer... <coughs> Are you alright? Yes. Sorry. It's not a problem. Let us begin. That went well. She shows signs of something metaphysically possible, but it won't work. These tests are going to take weeks. She has maybe a couple of days at most. If you got to me quicker, I could have done something, but... If she's the last one, there's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry, Mia. It's alright, Greg. You did the best you could. If you could get more time, you've stumbled upon something magnificent. Yeah, if only. I'll show you out, Professor. Store the files, would ya? We're not gonna need them anyway. <sighs> All right. Tick-tock, tick-tock. It appears someone is all out of time. Thanks for rubbing it in. A file? What do you need files for to understand what is clearly in front of you? Still, it would be a fun read, I imagine. I could show you, if you want. Not like I have any use for them. Let me ask you a question. And of all the fucked up shit we're doing in this building, why personally check up on us? Mia's father was a colleague of mine back in the day. I simply want to make sure his final projects are completed. By actively rooting for his vision to fall? As director, my duty is to maintain cost-effective- Bullshit. Two months ago, no one knew my name. Now you expect the director of it all to not only know who I am, but to take seemingly random interest in my work? No. No, you want something. Something only two people have authorization for on a now sealed war file. Who's stupid now? Don't push it. Oni has plans for the coming years, and Lucas Redding's research has been deemed vital. I want it. And why would I give it to you? Once Sophia keels over, you're gonna put a bullet in our heads. Now, I could be generous to hand over my access codes for all those files if you could say... Guarantee that from not happening? <sighs> not bad, kid. 
Come with me. We need to dot some eyes. I cut us a deal. Oni doesn't make deals. I never said it was a favorable one. Well, beats standing around feeling shitty. Let's hear it. Ness takes the fall. Eunice's already pissed at him for killing one of theirs, so... Shouldn't be none the wiser. And then, in return, we give over all relevant files that could help one Spartan 4 program. All while we're buried in paperwork. Until they feel they need us. And it just so happens we have a warehouse of unused experimental armor primed for examination. And we're the only ones who know how it works. Ding ding. Nice work. Thanks. Only one last loose end. I'll handle it. As a child, we were told our lives were gone. Our memories of who we were made us weak. That they would control us during training. I don't remember my parents' faces or the home I grew up in. But I remember this, us, together, looking out into the great beyond. It's real to me, my one memory. Sophia, I'm so sorry. <laughs>